Whenever you talk about doing twisted metal, everyone's excited about seeing the vehicles. To take a vehicle from its concept to reality, the first thing that we have to do is read the scripts. And we tease out of the scripts the things that help build the character. Because in Twisted Metal, the cars are every bit as much of the character as the people, the actors. From there, we start to do our research, look and see what vehicles are in the game itself, kind of how they look, and then we pitch some ideas. We were a little bit like magpies. We took bits and pieces that appealed to us from all the games. We didn't like say, oh, we're gonna copy this, or oh, we're gonna copy that. Mainly we work with the art department in Victoria Paul because ultimately she's designing the entire production. The cool thing was she also allowed us some flexibility to make suggestions on things design-wise to make sure that it would practically work with what we were doing in film. Here for the show? I'm definitely here for the show! We start with cardboard and mocking up basic designs to see how it'll work and then start practically building it. Sometimes we have to remove fenders or doors and sometimes we're building, fabricating from scratch. We bought some baking sheets that you would bake cookies on and use that on the roof because that was what was easy for us to do and work and it looked great and unless I told you it was a baking sheet, you would never know that that was a baking sheet. How about a little kill music? When we're putting the things together, we have to figure out practically, in conjunction with visual effects, who then takes it the next step to make the vehicles do some of the things like shoot missiles out of Sweet Tooth's eyes. <laughs> That's scary. We have to figure out a way to build all these crazy things on a car, but still make sure the car can perform doing stunt work. The first thing that we had to do was make sure we installed some stunt brakes that allowed them to lock up the rear brakes and spin the vehicles around. We have to set the vehicle up with special fuel tanks so that they have a very low amount of fuel in the vehicles if it's to flip over. From there, it goes to the guns. Each gun had to be selected, and then we had to modify each gun to make sure it mounted and made sense for each vehicle. It'd be great if you could warn me before you drift like that. I slam my head into the window. I said, hang on. After that, it basically goes to paint and aging so that uh, it, it can look like it's been sitting out for the last 20 years post-apocalypse. You always generally, for any hero car, have two cars. Any show, normal show. This show is anything but normal in terms of its cars and what we are asking of the cars. With the hero car that Evelyn had played throughout the most of the, the season, we actually had four vehicles. We had a hero, we had a stunt vehicle, we had a backup stunt vehicle, and we had a remote drive vehicle or a pod vehicle where we have a device on top of the car where a stunt driver can control the vehicle and drive it around while the actors are free to do their roles without having to operate the vehicle. To drive the vehicle is pretty darn cool, and we get the opportunity to warm them up, doing donuts in the parking lot, using the stunt brakes. All of the vehicles are tons of fun to just drive around and have fun with.